Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to apply joins by using Python pandas. So if you can have a look at the SQL, there will have multiple types of join, like inner join, left, right, and full auto joins. The same way in the Python pandas, how can we apply same type of joins, right? So here I'm trying to take two sets of uh, data here and two tables. So one is uh, my employee data. The second one is department data. So if you can have a look at the data, the first employee or data set has employee name, job, employee number, hire date, location, and department number. And for the department table, I have department number, department name, and city. So the both tables commonly has a column department number. So based on the joining department number, I'll go ahead and retrieve my department name and city data, right? So first we'll go with inner join, then left join, right join, then full outer join. So let's start with uh, how can we are going to be do that. So initially I'm trying to apply my inner join based on the department number column. So we are going to be apply a function called merge in pandas. So first we need to pass left side data set as employee and then right side data set as department number. So on which column we are going to be apply department number. This is my department number. Then what type of join? How is nothing but what type of join? So it is inner join, right? If you can execute this one and have a look at here, by merging by joining department column i'm going to be get my department name city here so the tenth department is accounting and city is new york if you can have a look at the data we can see this and this is automatically sort your data based on your joining column so the sorting is true default so that's why if you can have a look at that sorting it's sorting based on the department number 10 10 20 20 30 and 30. So, so based on the whatever the key we are trying to pass here on department number that will go ahead and join your data. Right. This is how we are going to apply our inner join. So let's say how we are going to apply left join. So what is left join? All the matched data and non-matching data from left side of the table. So which is our left side table, employee table. And if you can have a look at the data, the 50th department is not available in the department table. So, and if you can have inner join data, I do not see any 50th department because we apply earlier inner join. Now we are applying left join. Now it is going ahead and retrieve my 50th department data, which is nothing but Clara, e name. Right, if you can execute this one, see here, I got the data of uh, Clara, which is department number 50 and rest which are not available in the department table they are null values right so in this way we can apply left join let's say if you want to apply right join you need to pass join equal to right so if you can pass right here and i do not have any 48 department in the employee table so it will go ahead and retrieve 48 department department number and respective employee table details as null value. If you can have execute this one, see here, that is retrieving null values, but the rest of the values from the department table are a valid values. So if you want to get all the data from left and right, even if it's matched or non-matched data, then we need to pass outer here. That will go ahead and get a full outer join, a matched data from both the tables and non-matched data from both the tables. So this is how we can go ahead and apply your joins. So let's say for example, when you're trying to join, you need to say whether from which side the record is available, either left side or right side or both sides. So for that, we need to pass the indicator here, indicator equal to true. If you pass indicator equal to true here, that will tell us with a new column underscore image. So from where the record is available. Record is available from the, both the tables, both the tables. 
and the record is available from only left side of the table that will display left only and if it is available from the right side of the table that will display only right only so if you can apply indicator here that will go ahead and let you know from where the record is available so let's say if you want to change your column name directly you can pass your column name here indicator underscore column and that will create a column a name of indicator underscore column and you can look at the your data right so let's say for example you are trying to match the data you are trying to look up the data on other table when there's multiple matches let's say you are trying to department number is matching on the employee table so the tenth record is available here also from this record so for the tenth for this record there are multiple matches when you are trying to place department on the left side and employee in the right side there are multiple matches when there are multiple matches if you want to throw another how can we do that so to do that we need to pass here validate validate equal to one to one if you pass validate equal to one to one if there are any multiple matches if there are any multiple matches that will go ahead and retrieve that will go ahead and retrieve an error see not a one to one match right and if you pass here one to many if you can pass here one to many I'm sorry. So we need to pass a uh, department here, then employee, because there's a uh, one to many relationship between department and employee, left to right. And I'm trying to pass here one to one here. And that needs to throw another magic keys are not unique in right data set, not a one to one match. If you can pass here one to many here, that will give you a perfect data, right? because there are multiple matches. So 10 to 10, there are multiple matches. 20 to 20, there are multiple records. For 30 also, there are multiple records. So when you're trying to give validity equal to one to one, if there are multiple matches, that will retrieve with an error saying that match keys are not unique in the right data set, not a one to one match. If you want to avoid that one, you need to pass one to many. Default, this is going to be one to many. So you, you do not need to pass it. If you want to pass on multiple matches, you need to mention one to one, right? So in this way, we can apply a validate. So let's say, for example, you do have different types of column names here. Here is the column name is department number. Here the column name is department underscore number. So let's try to uh, change my column name here. Let's say I'm trying to apply here department underscore number and re-importing my data here. And see here, there is change in the column name, right? So when you're trying to apply uh, your join on the department number, so let's see what it will uh, throw here. I'm trying to remove invalidate here and changing my data set here. Employee comma department, right? And if you can execute this one, if you can see here, department number, key error is department number. Because when you're trying to let that, employee has a department number column, but department table does not have a department column. So how can we overcome? We need to tell the match statement, the particular column uh, from the right side of the table and left side of the table. So how can we tell that? So if you want to let that match knows that we need to pass here, we need to pass here the respective column name. So left on is that what left side data set column name and right side data set column name. We need to pass your column name. I'm trying to removing sort here. Then, and if you can uh, execute this one, employee underscore data. Sorry, employee. Then uh, department. Right. See here. Then it will come to the department number from the employee table. Department underscore number from the department table then it will go ahead and join your data, right? So in this way, we can apply 
joins even if you don't have matched column name right and let's say here i'm trying to uh, changing the exact column name like uh, department underscore number to avoid a confusion here i'm trying to re-importing my data set department underscore number here you need to pass the department number here which is a right set data frame and you can execute it now right so in this way you can pass your respective column names to join your data frames thank you guys